Hello, welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we start with a meme. We, we haven't started with a meme in a while. We, we need to laugh more often. And this is part of what's in store for today. Narc mommy problems. You either merge the kids, get some money. We're going to talk about Netflix and the kids, by the way. But hold on a sec. Merge the kids with the risk of them getting all the attention or be broke. That's a tough decision for a narcissistic mother. They never really like their kids stealing the spotlight from them. That's a big no-no. Uh, that's not going to happen. And I have spoken about that delicate topic in other times, and I know that many of you have lived or are living through that. But at least your mother is not trying to merge you uh, through a streaming giant famous for the wokenization of literally everything. And yes, I'm talking about Netflix, because it looks like their 4th of July parade was some kind of rehearsal to see how many headlines could they stir as a family, including, but not limited to, not Archie and not Lily. So this is just testing the waters along with headlines like this one. Meghan Markle trying to get green light from Netflix on new shows before $100 million deal runs out. Methane is trying to secure more Netflix content with scripted content from her and her team across the board. Why is that in quotation marks? Oh, well, uh, whatever. Before their deal runs out in 2025. 2025? I mean, how far away in the future or how right around the corner it depends entirely on perspective. But I think it's more than plenty of time to come up with something, right? Yeah, it's not like you can afford to work one hour a week. But the thing is that they don't need to come up with something. There are thousands of real-life inspirational stories out there, and I'm sure that Megan, being a beacon of hope for women and girls, must receive hundreds of letters a day with empowering anecdotes and thank you notes, I guess. But uh, no, seriously, I know you are laughing now, and I understand. But in this business, if you are a producer, you don't really need to make the shows or documentaries yourself. You just need to be the glue of the people who can make the show. The trick is that it takes a ton of work, and like, a ton. And I'm going to give you the example of Curtis Jackson, better known as 50 Cent, who produced the show for life. He found out about the story of an innocent man behind bars who learned the law on his own to set himself free. Yeah, it's not the first time we have heard a story like this, but Jackson knew that it would be a hit, so he went with it. And the good news for Megan is that the job of producer is rather bossy by nature, so it fits her personality. But again, did I mention that it requires a lot of work and being able to manage large sums of money? But there's one big perk for methane. Can you imagine how many black women out there have stories or ideas ready to be made and they just need some kind of patron to make them a reality? And besides that, you know what will happen if Megan pitches Netflix, an empowering story of a black woman, right? They will green light instantly. So why hasn't that happened yet? The obvious answer is that no black woman wants to work with Megan. I mean, that's my theory. I would like to know what you think about this. But seriously, if Megan is so loved, if she receives so many messages and stories, if Netflix would be delighted of working with this kind of topics, why is that hard? Now you have my answer. So take the 4th of July as some kind of casting. They wanted to hit refresh on the world's headlines to see if the kids still have star power. And they do, especially because they are prince and princess. I'm sure you don't, you don't even need to wonder why the Netflix horror mentory featured them like never before. But then we arrive at a roadblock. And it's the meme that I showed you at the beginning is not that much of a meme after all. Well, in fact, humor and jokes only have effect in us because they tell the truth. And this is a real thing. But what is not a real thing is this. Meghan Markle warned she has no future and must leave Prince Harry to save career. Which career are we exactly talking about?
No, seriously, I would love to know who writes these things. They feel that if Megan does more on her own, she'll have more opportunities to save her career. It will give them breathing room and restore confidence, or at least that's the hope. Now, this, this kind of content only appeals to people with room temperature IQ in Celsius. And to prove my point, there's one comment from someone whose name I have covered because I respect the privacy of people with brain damage. Rumors say Philip is William's father, not Charles. King Harry makes more sense and what do more for the UK than either William or Charles are capable of willing to do. So how about a paternity test, William? Yeah, this is why democracy is overrated, because people like this vote. And thanks to the magic of social media algorithms, this tweet from Katie's royal love from June 2020 resurfaced in honor of Prince William's birthday and bringing this gem back from the Prince's Diaries. For copyright reasons, I cannot play this clip with sound, but one thing is for certain. This is a great movie. I enjoyed it quite a lot back then, and I think those were easier times as well. Less complicated, and that's why we need to laugh more, love more, to take things and ourselves less seriously. What do you think? Are you on board with that idea? But in other royal news in Europe, King William Alexander of the Netherlands has been forced to interrupt his vacation as the Dutch government has fallen. And you know that for the most part, I try to stay out of politics, especially this channel, but I thought this was relevant for many reasons. And mainly because many people think that monarchies are something outdated with this blue blood of family members who are you know, completely detached from reality. And this is to some extent proof that it is not that way. In fact, the reason why the Netherlands government collapsed was due to asylum seekers. And it is undeniable that there is a hot topic in the UK as well. Ripples always affect countries, and we don't know which kind of effects, so what happened in the Netherlands, what kind of effect can have in UK policy, and of course, the royal family. But let's end on a high note with this picture of Catherine at the service of His Majesty's coronation in Scotland. It reminds me of one of my favorite painters, Diego Velázquez, in which the light is used to bring the subject from the shadows and shine. My royal rogues, it is my greatest pleasure to make these daily videos for you. All you need to do to keep me inspired making them is clicking the like and subscribe buttons. It's that easy and free. Remember the two most important words, much love and bliss.